As New Hampshire's first town was being settled, a great migration of Puritans had begun just to the south. This colony was called the Massachusetts Bay Colony. It rapidly developed two main towns, Salem and Boston, under the leadership of its governor, John Winthrop. During the 1630s, thousands of Puritan colonists came to Massachusetts hoping to find religious freedom, to escape economic hardships in England, and to build a model community for the entire world to see. By 1640, while the Plymouth Colony had grown to a population of 2,500 people, 20,000 lived in the Puritan Massachusetts Bay Colony. Plymouth eventually was so overshadowed by its much larger neighbor that it joined up with it. By then, the Massachusetts Bay Colony even controlled the lands of Maine. In Massachusetts, the congregational churches of the Puritans were supported by public taxes. In other words, there was no separation of church and state. Strict Puritan ministers watched over people's lives very closely and if anyone did anything considered sinful, the ministers served as judges as well. In fact, in 1692, in Salem, Massachusetts, Puritan judges convicted 19 people of being witches and had them put to death by hanging. However, well before this time, Puritan ministers, unhappy with things in Massachusetts, had started to look for other places to settle.